Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borg, and it's going to be a quick five minutes at most. Lehigh Valley Phantoms, almost at Philadelphia Phantoms again. Weekly roundup video where the Phantoms had two great ones against the Devils. Adam, two, if I could use my fingers correctly, great ones against the Devils. And then one just coming back into the groove against the Bears that they got slammed, unfortunately, 6-1. to one. They're playing right now, scored five, their best output um, in the first period um, since moving to Lehigh Valley, five goals in the first period. And then the Devils came back in the second. I have a recap on that. Um, it's 5-3 to three right now. I have a recap on that this evening after this game. But then do a uh, preview to this week. But... On this, we're going to recap. They lost 6-1 to one to Hershey, but this was their first game since playing on the 5th. So they were trying to get their legs back under them and then played one of the AHL's best teams year in, year out. One of the best restored teams in the AHL in the Hershey Bears. So, obviously, they weren't going to perform well, but then they did exactly what you like. As Road Truck said on the first game conference, the Phantoms were back on Friday when you saw it. And then we'll get to on Saturday. Sandstrom was back. He said that when he asked his great question to him about like how he played and different questions to him. He said Sandstrom is back in the post-game press conference on Saturday, but we'll get to that. Um, as for the Friday game, when it comes to the box score for Lehigh Valley, uh, Zane McIntyre came up big again and had another good performance, but Tyson Forster was a play of the game with two goals, count them, two goals. Yet again, Forster's been an absolute menace on the ice. And then Andy Andreev, who's been up with the Flyers all season, nice to see him come back down pot a goal and then get the sealer on the empty net there so very good to see that very good game Tyson Forster showing all the force he made the force be with him making him be the key player and the star of that game now in game two of this or game three of this week after the 6-1 loss but it's a game that the fly or not the Flyers the fans are trying to get their feet back under them and they just could not um, keep up with the Bears, who are one of the best AHL teams. That was to be expected. They come back. The Phantoms are back. They play their Phantoms hockey and win 4-2 to two against the Devils, then win 3-2 to two against that same Devils team. After, as Rotruck said and others pointed out in the post game and in articles I've read, this team played back-to-backs after not playing since the 5th and then just playing on the 21st. So they knew that they would have to rely on Sandstrom in the third period and go off of the back of the goaltender, and the young netminder stepped up big time. His confidence seems like it's back. Uh, he talked about how he's really worked on things, and you could tell he said he was in the groove from the beginning, feeling good from the beginning of that game, and you could tell he made that one glove save then cracked a joke to the ref, which was hilarious. Ralph Kudiemi, also a big key. I would honestly, Forster was able to score again in this game. Him and Kudiemi, along with Sandstrom, would be my three stars of the game for that game. Cootie Emmy, I got to give to. He's a hard working player, career ECHL. Was able to crack the HL for the first time with Laval last year and credits Kirk McDonald, Reddings coach, for all he's able to do, which is great to be able to see that and hear that. So great to see a warrior that fights so hard to have a career in hockey and just loves the game so much to keep going and talks about how the ECHL is actually underrated fight to make it and then be able to pot a goal. It's great to see that. Forster was able to get a goal again. And then Isaac Ratcliffe, who's starting to come back. When he first came back, he looked really solid in the first couple games. Then kind of load off a bit. The Phantoms have also had the big layoff, obviously. But then now, he seems like he's getting his legs right back under him after these first three games. And then he was able to score in the third game back against the Binghampton Devils. About the first goal of that game. But the story of this game was Felix Sansom's 37 save masterpiece that he was able to carry the Lehigh Valley Phantoms to a win and Tyson Forster was able to stay high with the goal and the always fighting Ralph Kudiemi was able to score after being a career CSO again in the first crack with the ball and now getting a crack with Lehigh Valley looking like he's going to be maybe I don't know forever be able to make it up to the big leagues in the NHL but at least a very solid career NA or AHL that's able to compete in your bottom six and be able to be a good hard working guy that's able to get it done and pot a little bit of goals when he gets chances as well so great to see him get that goal. What I would say the players of the week for this week, I'm going to start doing this now, is Tyson Forster. is able to have a two-goal performance in a win and then a one-goal performance in the other win. Obviously, Felix Sandstrom having that 37-save masterpiece. And then I'm just going to have to give it for this week just because I love giving it to uh, guys like this. I would give it to uh, Mac as well for having a good game in the second game back. But Ralph Kudiemi, just because he's able to pot a goal, he's back in the lineup after some guys that got called up to the taxi squad. Unfortunately, Lozinski now has hip surgery, but are able to be on the taxi squad, so it leaves spots open. And guys are still out, like Wisdom for COVID protocol and others due to injuries like Fitzgerald for one, for example. So he's able to take advantage of his reps, and I will give him the credit for that and give him a start of the week. But I hope you all enjoy Philadelphia Phantoms week or lehigh valley phantoms weekly roundup not philadelphia phantoms anymore hasn't been that way for a while 
Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take, a Lehigh Valley Phantoms weekly roundup edition. Phantoms right now are up 5-3. to three. Hopefully they're able to close out this game. Have a great, safe, and pleasant week, everybody. Peace out, and go Phantoms.